DMCA takedowns have been running rampant on Twitch this year, claiming copyright music left and right like Oprah in her prime. You get a strike. You get a strike. What if I told you you can play your music live on stream without that music track saving to your VOD? Hey, I'm the Nightcaller, and I'm gonna teach you how to do just that. All you need is your Spotify track to be in a separate source via GoXLR or Voice Meter, which is free by the way, and OBS Studio. For my fellow streamers that are using Streamlabs OBS, unfortunately this won't work because Slobs doesn't support scripts and plugins. I know it's super user friendly and all that, but you should consider switching over because OBS Studio gives you so much freedom to do things. Once you have all that situated, we can get started. First thing you want to do is go ahead and click the GitHub link in the description to get the OBS Multitrack Stream Script by Rat with a Compiler. we are scrolling down and here you can read some notes and details about what the script does. Go ahead and read it if you like. Going down further, you'll see instructions on how to set this up, but I'm going to show you how to do that today. Download the script by right clicking and saving link as. You can go ahead and rename the file, but I kept it as is. Next you are going to want to keep the script in a safe place where it won't be moved or deleted by accident. So I went into my files to find the OBS Studios folder, and moved it in there. I already have it, so I'm gonna skip. Now open OBS Studio and apply the script by going into Tools and Scripts. Hit the plus sign and find the files that we just saved into our OBS Studios folder. Hit Open and now it should appear here in Loaded Scripts. Make sure it's enabled, the audio track is on 2, and the audio bitrate is on 160 as this is the default bitrate for OBS. We are now going to change the routing and go XLR by unchecking broadcast stream mix for music, then saving that profile. And again, if you don't have the go XLR, it's still achievable with voice meter by giving Spotify its own audio source. I'll link a video down below to a great tutorial on how to get that set up by Nutty, who is a great stream content creator. After you have all that set up, go back to OBS Studio, hit File, open up Settings, and move down to Audio. Change Desktop Audio 2 to Music TC Helicon Go XLR, or for those using Voice Meter to whichever source you routed your Spotify into. Hit Apply and OK. Your new audio source will now appear in your OBS Audio Mixer, under the name Desktop Audio 2. You can rename it by right-clicking and rename to change it to whatever you like. I made mine Spotify. Our last step is to hit the cog, go to Advanced Audio Properties, find your music source, and uncheck Track 2. Track 2 is what will be saved on the VOD, so if it's unchecked, it won't save. Close this window and you are all set to stream. You can now stream without your music saving to your VOD. Now, this doesn't give you full-on DMCA immunity because a lot of video games have copyrighted music, so be aware of that. I'm sure somewhere down the line, Twitch is going to implement a way to detect live content, but even after that happens, I feel like this tool is still going to be very useful for a lot of content creators. It's going to make editing so much easier, and you don't have to ever worry about getting a DMCA strike when you upload your content to another platform like YouTube. Hope you guys learned something new today and get some use out of this. If you ever have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, or you could tweet at me on Twitter at NightcallerTV. Join the Discord to be a part of the community, and follow me at twitch.tv forward slash the Nightcaller to catch me live. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye and good night. Nightcaller, out.